salad right here. Some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you guys, we today we got some deep fried salmon. Let me show you guys right off the rip. Right off the rip, y'all. We got some deep fried salmon. We got some fried king crab as always. Um, we got some uh, fried okra. And then I got some uh, greenlit mussels. So welcome back to the channel. This is Waxing with Donisha yeah. and Cliff. And we ain't came to play. We be waxing every day. Different foods, different ways. If you're new, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because this is the Waxer Squad. The Waxer Squad. The Waxer, Waxer, Waxer Squad. Okay, you guys. So Father God, thank you so much for this food, Lord. I ask that you bless the hands that prepared it, Lord. Take out all impurities, Father God, and make it nourishing for our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And so we're just going to get started. Get How's down. everybody doing today? Yeah. We're just going to hop right in, y'all. Yep. Hope y'all doing well. Because mm -hmm. we're doing pretty good. Oh, it's really good. I think this is my favorite right here. The, uh... Mushroom? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. The muscles. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> Spicy. So good. <clears throat> Baby, we gotta do a thumbnail. Thank you. Hold this up. I'm gonna hold this up. Ready? Hold this up. Like you're gonna eat it. Okay. Mmm. 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 Baby, you put a lot of ranch on that. Mmm. -mm. What's it look like? I like salad, but I don't like it with so much ranch. It just seems like I got a lot of ranch. Mm -mm. I'll taste one of those avocados, though. The avocado looks good. Mmm. Mm. That avocado's good. Mmm. -hmm. If I lost everything mm. and didn't have anything and you were the only thing, hey, I still have everything. Mm. I live like that. It's you, my everything. It's you, my everything. Mm. Ooh, ouch. It's you, my everything. I still have everything, yeah. It's you, my everything. It's you. My everything. I've been singing that song all day. Mm -hmm. Like two or three days now. I've been replaying it back over and over again in my mind. <clears throat> Cause you know, some days Are just okay. And when you have other days that are amazing. So the days that are just okay for me, I have to remember that if I lost everything <laughs> and didn't have anything. <clears throat> And you were the only thing, 
Yeah, I still have that thing. Mm. You gotta remind yourself that. Okay. I just have some. Did you want to taste this king crab? Let me feed you. You feed me. I'm going to feed you, baby. Let me feed you. Uh oh. Breathe. Wait, wait till you clear your mouth. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> mm. Why'd you take a deep breath like that? Guys, I wanted to share with you guys that I'm getting ready to undergo laser hair removal on my face. Some of you know that I grow facial hair, like on my chin and stuff like that. I'm getting ready to get it removed. I'm so excited. And so... Please be praying for me that it works, that it's successful, and that my skin doesn't have any bad reactions because I'll never, ever be able to get rid of my acne growing hair on my face. My acne will just, like, act up for no... Act up because of the ingrown hairs. <clears throat> right, baby? Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Ingrown hair, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then my face will just... My skin will just start breaking out, like around my jaw and chin, chin area. I will be vlogging it. So those of you who like vlogs, or maybe you grow hair on your face too as a woman and you don't want to. And so you're looking into it. You can see how it does for me. And for some odd reason, I don't forget what they said. They said that people with darker skin are good candidates for hair laser removal. I don't know why, though. They said we're good candidates for it, so I'm ready to get it removed. I'm tired of growing hair on my face. Cuts the cuts of the ear. Well, I used to be really insecure when I was younger. I started growing hair on my face when I was like 14. My mother, it runs in my family, my mother grows hair. But I'm the only girl that has it. Nobody else has it. But I'm also the only girl that looks exactly like my mom. So, I never like went to see a physician to check and see if I have PCOS. I never knew, I might have it, I don't know. <coughs> Some kind of condition that women get when they grow hair on their face. Really? Mm -hmm. Some of you might be wondering, how were you able? How were you able to land relation relationships with hair on growing hair on your face? I don't know, baby. What did you think about it? <laughs> I don't even remember when you found out I had hair on my face because I used to hide it. I used to always like shave it. I don't have it. <laughs> you didn't like it, but that. like, how did you feel? Like it didn't stop you from still getting to know me and stuff. Mm -mm. Why? Because I feel like with some men, 
it would stop you from wanting to get to know her or be in a relationship with her because she grows hair on her face. It's just hair. Hmm? It's just hair. Mm-hmm. You said it's just hair, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. To some people, it does. It's not... To me, it's not just hair. Like... It was a huge, huge part of my insecurities when I was growing up. I never liked, I never wanted a man to like grab my face or you know how, you know how your man will grab your face and hold your face and kiss you and stuff like that. Or want to kiss your neck. I would never allow them to do that. Because even if you shave it, you can still tell there's hair. You know what I mean? You can feel it. So, I was really insecure growing up about it. And I've decided it's time because to get it rid of it because I've, um, I've done, um, what you call it? I bought like so many skincare products that help like lighten your skin back up from shaving and all of that, waxing and all of that. And they will work, but they only work for a certain amount of time because the hair when, cause you're still doing, you're still doing what is causing it to be there. You know what I mean? But you're still shaving, you're, you're still waxing. So it's like, I'm just like, man, because I really don't have, like, bad acne. It's just, I grow it. It's just. I really don't have bad skin. It's just, it's the hair that makes my skin look horrible. You know what I mean? Yeah, I really don't, I really don't have, like, acne problems. Like but other the people, hair just, just come, the hair. It just come natural. You know? Yeah, come natural. Um, you don't put it there. No. No, I didn't put it there. No. So. Oh. You just came. I, actually, how I discovered it, my sister discovered it for me. <laughs> we were walking home from um, work one day. We used to work at this daycare. I think I was 15. Yeah. <laughs> and my sister is uh, a year and some months under me, so she... She had to be 14 or something like that. And we were walking home. We used to work at this daycare. We were walking home from the daycare and <laughs> the sun was just hitting a certain way. It was just hitting my hitting an angle, angling towards my face a certain way. And um, my sister looked and she said, she looked at me like this and she said, she said, lift your neck up. I went, went like that. I held my head back. She looked. She said, oh, you have hair on your face. Oh. Where? Oh. I said, what? <laughs> I was so scared. She's like, you have hair on your face. I said, no, I don't. Are you serious? She's like, yeah, you have hair on your face. She's like, ew, that's gross. I was like, yeah. So I went home and told my mom. <laughs> and she was like, I have hair too. Ever since that day, I just felt so insecure, and I started shaving it from that day. My mama didn't help me or nothing like that. You know, I would just... Guess it's natural. Steal a razor and start shaving it. And you know, the more... But my mama should have taught me the right way so that my skin didn't get so, you know, the way it got... And then you get all those dark spots and stuff from razor bumps and all that. Yeah. And the more Ooh, I just bit my lip. Ow. I bit my tongue. The more you shave, the worse it gets. Mm -hmm. I know. That's why I said, you know what? It's not going to work no more. I'm going to have to take care of this the right way. Yes. You know? So, mm -hmm. 
like I said, y'all pray for me that everything works out because I am nervous. I don't know if it's going to hurt or what. But I'm ready for my man to kiss all on my neck and stuff. You know what I mean? I'm ready to get wiped down. Wipe me down. <laughs> well, he kisses my neck, but he doesn't. I wanna, he never kisses my. Well, you do kiss my chin and stuff, but I feel uncomfortable. Because I know there's hair there. So, I just feel uncomfortable. I'm not comfortable with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, if everything goes well, I'm going to get hair laser removal on my both my legs, too. And my bikini line. I don't want to grow hair there. No, no more. Don't nobody want to... Why spend thousands of dollars a year waxing... And all of that, when you could just get hair laser removal and get it rid of it for life. You know what I mean? Then you can save money. So it's like, yeah, you might spend like two to four thousand dollars getting this done. But think about it in a lifetime. Like, you'll never have to worry about that ever again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Which one sounds better? Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Sorry, y'all. I didn't mean this video to turn in, turn out, turn into. Oh. I want it. I want you no more avocado. I didn't mean for this video to turn into um a video about my hair. Especially while we eating, but <laughs> life, life, it's life, 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 life. How did I get life? <laughs> it's life, baby. Life, life. I got some sweet chili sauce right here. I'm gonna put on this salmon. Girl, and get your bird. Get 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 your bird. Get your bird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good, you guys. Fried. The only thing is, make sure you have a really good, nice piece of salmon. Don't get no cheap mm -hmm. salmon because. The taste, the quality is way different. Yeah. Right? Get you a nice piece of salmon. Good salmon. Good salmon. You done with your stuff? Let me see. Almost. I'm gonna put these things in there. How did I get a this cucumber? Mm-hmm. Good. Man. Yeah, man. I used to think that I wasn't fine enough. Whoa, juicy. And I used to think that I wasn't wild enough. But I won't waste my time trying to figure out. Let me stop before I get copyrighted. Excuse me. Whoa. Feel that one. He don't want that. I'm done too. You better eat them onions. Onions too, babe. I'll take this to work and put it on some rice. And that's on everything. I'm just playing. I'll probably get something that's safe way tomorrow when I'm uh, at work. Sure. Yeah. I'm good. It's a little less. Everything's good. Mm-hmm. What are we getting ready to do? Mm. 
Get ready to do? Lay your body down and let me touch your body. <laughs> Cause you know it's going down. My red ram down. Sit down, couch, watch a movie. Relax. Yeah. Okay, guys. This is it. All right, y'all. We will see you on an hour radio. Yeah, All I'm right. Done. Okay. Mm. Right, okay. I'm straight. <laughs> you ate most of that. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. We don't want this video to be too long, so we about to get up out of here. Don't forget to like, comment, and so what? Sure. Shish strive. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> That's how them country people say it. Subscribe. <laughs> Frescribe. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Hit your subscribe button down below. <laughs> Some of them spell it S U K. Subscribe. Subscribe. I see somebody spell it S U K R I V E. I said, whoa. Subscribe. <laughs> I said, well. Better go ahead and subscribe. All right, y'all. Love you so much, you guys. We'll see you guys on the next video. Stay yep. safe. Stay blessed. Peace. Peace. Love you guys. Yeah. Um, turn it off.